Hi everyone, I wanted to share a few instructions for block two. The first step on block two, which you're gonna find the instructions on page six of your pattern. Let me move that over here really quickly. The first step here is just talking about making half square triangles. So that's pretty straightforward and I believe we have another video on it. But what I wanted to talk to you about is step two here, how we are going to attach the triangles to our center square for this block. So I just wanted to point out what I've done. Uh, you can see I have my center square and my four colors that are going to be part of this block. What I did was I just finger pressed this uh, because I need to center each one of my triangles on the square when I attach them. So what I did was I finger pressed this in half. You can see I've got two little creases right there and there. And I did the same thing for my triangles. Okay, and I'm just on the top and the bottom first. So all I'm gonna do is turn that over and hopefully you can see this. I'm kind of just peeking around my camera here. And I'm just gonna line up those two creases to center it. Okay, I'm gonna straighten that out a little bit. I'm gonna put a pin in that and I'm gonna sew across that line. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Once I've done that, I'm going to press these out, okay, so away from my light center, and I'm going to trim along each side here to get rid of those little tails. So I'll come back to that once I have gotten to that point. Okay, and poof, I have my two triangles sewn to my center square, and I'm gonna, and I've also trimmed off the edges. Now, again, I folded these two in half and I finger pressed, which is a little bit harder to see here um, if you're, but basically there's a little fold right there and there's a fold in my fabric right here as well. So what I'm gonna do is line those two up, right sides together, and I will sew that seam and I'll do the same thing on the other side, okay? So um, that is how we do step two of this block. And step three is really pretty self-explanatory. If I bring the book in into view here, you can see you're just taking that, uh, that middle unit that we're creating below the book, and you're gonna add the half square triangles and the squares uh, following the diagram on page seven of the book. Okay, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, or you can stop by the block of the month support group, which is on the second Thursday from five to eight, or the second Saturday from nine to 12. Just let me know you're coming, email or call. Thanks. All right, and poof. I think I thought I was finished in my last video, but that's okay. Uh, the center of my block is now finished, okay? So the, it's assembled as you saw on page, I believe six and seven I was referring to. Yeah, page six and seven. So we followed those instructions to assemble the middle of the block. Now you're gonna take that middle and you're going to turn to page 29 using the information that you, um, you or using the blocks that you created in month zero, let's just move over here. You are now going to use your setting triangles and your cornerstones to assemble the, the rest of the block, okay? So block two begins with what was on page six and seven, then you're going to turn to page 29, and I've just laid it out here. Um, it's a little bit big, obviously I still have some more work to do, uh, and I'm going to assemble all of these kind of kind of flying geese blocks that are going to be the, the points of my stars as well as my cornerstones to complete that block. Don't forget, you also wanna do one flying geese block, uh, which I haven't done yet, but I will pan over here real quick and I will look at this here. So you also wanna do one of those with the one and seven eighths by five and a half and one and seven eighths by six and a half inch fabric that you cut out of your um, out of your kit that you received this month. Okay, so this is your accent color, just like you did last month. And if you do have any questions on this, we do have a separate video talking about those flying geese. Okay, enjoy month two.